Hello listeners, I'm your reader Sue. I'm here to read out books. For those who love to listen, I'm here to read any kinds of books, be it fictional, non-fictional, kids, novels, any kind of books, business books, anything. Just let me know. I'll try to get a hold of it and I will read it out for you. I know there are many people who love to listen and they in fact learn a lot through listening. So I'm here to read out books. I myself love to read so I thought why not make videos of it and share it with you guys. So yes, please let me know if you have any specific book in mind. All right. So we will I was reading the word a law book, Law of Equity. I have made part 1 of it. I'll continue to read that. So here we go. We start. It starts with place of the maxim in Indian context. It's an Indian uh, Indian uh, law book. It's called Law of Equity. The maxim finds its embodiment in many Indian enactments like the Specific Relief Act provides for equitable remedies by way of specific performance of contracts, rectification of instruments, etc. The Code of Civil Procedure particularly captures the maxim in section 9. Equitas sequitur legem. That is equity follows the law. Equity does not claim to override the law. Equity generally operates by recognizing the legal rule and adding some further rule, remedy or other machinery of its own. The Court of Chancery, which developed equitable law, never wanted to give the equity an overriding effect to the common law. The jurisdiction of equity is debarred from overreaching the boundaries established by the prior course of adjudication. Another maxim which needs a mention in this decision is equitas non quam contravenit leges that is equitas non quam contravenit leges that is equity never counteracts law in india since there is no distinction between a legal interest and equitable interest therefore in all matters relating to legal as well as equitable interests the statutory provisions shall apply if there are any he who seeks equity must do equity this maxim put a mandate on the seeker of equity that he must in his turn be equitable in recognizing and submitting to the right to of his adversary as no one can be justified in requiring another to be conscientious without himself being so a litigant claiming something by way of equity must himself be ready and willing to grant to his opponent that which the opponent is entitled it's been we can refer it at struggles versus shantney 1839 very old case but still it come come it continues to put the ruling a litigant cannot seek equitable remedies as a matter of right as such remedies are at the discretion of the court the court before granting it must inquire whether the plaintiff himself would be prepared to act as a man of conscience towards the defendant Incorporation of the maxim in Indian laws section 38 of the specific relief act provides that on adjudging rescission of a contract the court may require the party to whom such relief is granted to make any compensation to the other which justice may require section 30 and 38 also provide that on adjudging the cancellation of an instrument the court may require the party to whom such relief is granted to make compensation to the other which justice may require an equitable condition is imposed on the beneficiary to repay the trustee the purchase with interest and other legitimate expenses when he seeks a declaration on trust or retransfer of trust property without or retransfer of trust property wrongfully bought by the trustee by section 62 of the indian trust act section 86 imposes the equitable condition of repaying the consideration paid in transfer of property pursuant to the rescindable contract according to section 35 of the transfer of property act that he he takes a benefit under an instrument must accept or reject the instrument as a whole this section incorporates the doctrine of election dealt in detail under a separate head Section 51 of the Transfer of Property Act provides that he who makes improvement on any immovable property believing in good faith 
that he is absolutely entitled there to and is subsequently evicted there from by a person having better title is entitled to compensation for the improvement made by him